Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Both, aka J Bone, and we're here to play the Melania hole number three, and this is a par five. This is also hole number nine of the upcoming Cinco de Mayo tournament. This hole is playable on either as Taurus four or Tour six for the rookie division. Um, on this hole, I would suggest using a sniper or even maybe your Viper. Uh, you could use your big dog as well or even possibly a hammerhead. Um, for your ball, I would suggest using your navigator, a quasar for that power. Or if you have it, a titan ball, um, you can use that as well. So on this hole, you can play the right side. as You could try to go up that fairway to the right. Um, or you can go to the left. I prefer to go to the left. Um, and uh, the drive is very important off the tee box for this shot. Um, because if you don't keep your ball on the fairway, you are definitely going to be in trouble um, and most likely not being able to get the eagle on this hole. So you do want to make sure you hit your shot up the fairway and stay on the fairway. So I do that with my drive and I'll be set up for my second shot. Uh, giving myself a chance for an albatross, um, but definitely making sure I get the eagle on this shot. Uh, you see my opponent, he's using the basic ball. And he's going to have to overpower his shot. And he hits it great to the right. Let's see if he's got enough on it to get to the fairway. <laughs> he does have enough to roll up the fairway. Um, but I don't believe it rolled far enough up the fairway, and he is really going to be um, kind of going uphill for his next shot. So you see me. I got the sniper in. Um, level 3 sniper. Doesn't have a whole lot of backspin on it. Um, I do like backspin on this hole. So you're going to see me, uh, when I line my shot up, I am going to use all my backspin, and I'm going to line it up you know, with the ball guide fairly close to the edge of the front of the green. The ball will roll on this green, so if you line your shot up too close to the hole with not a whole lot of backspin, you probably will roll past the hole a good amount. So you see me adjust about three and a half bars for the wind. I hit it great to the right, so um, it would have been nice to see a perfect shot here. But um, I got, I've got it pretty good lined up distance-wise with the holes. You can see I'm about pin high, um, and that uh, perfect shot may have been really close to the albatross on that hole. You're going to see my opponent. Um, he definitely does have a chance to still get to the green, but that's pretty much only because he has his big dog with him. Um, if he had had a level 3 sniper like I had, he would have been uh, in trouble. So let's see what he can do with his big dog. And it looks like he's got a pretty good shot coming in. That ball is going to need to slow down, and it does. And he will leave himself a very manageable chip for his eagle so that was a very good recovery on his part so we're gonna see me make my easy putt here for the eagle and that's how we're gonna end things here on hole number three of the Milanio course and hole number this is also hole number nine for the Cinco de Mayo tournament so make sure to join us on Facebook just search us at the Galt the 19th hole and uh, good luck to y'all in the tournament